Welcome back for more Trigger King RC Summer Series action. Event number two, we're getting into Pro Mod Competition. Bracket number one, the all-out, no-holds-barred monster truck racing. As we take a look at the qualifying results, our fast qualifier, it's a repetitive story, but it's Bob C. Chandler in Firestone Bigfoot. Irreparable damage. Second place and Max D. Josh Rhodes back on the circuit in third place. Moving into round number one action. It's a perfect 32 truck bracket. And starting it off, it's our number one qualifier, Firestone Bigfoot. Facing off against Son of a Digger. Jake Parr, a newcomer. Oh, and problems off the start for Son of a Digger. Looks like the number one qualifier will roll into round number two with a clean pass. Number 16, Careless Whisper, Mike Bufka, and Rotten Apple, Doug Welker, the number 17 qualifier. Bufka up and over, clearly that first obstacle proving to be very challenging, not to mention a very tricky track surface. You can see Rotten Apple undulating as it goes down the track. There was a very marbly base, and then underneath, it's very ridged. And so the trucks are hopping up and down the track. It's making it difficult to get traction to the tires. Goblin, number eight, and number 25, Snakebite. Goblin with issues. Bob Chandler with Snakebite, the all-new green Snakebite package from JB Scale Graphics, looking cool out there and moving to round number two. Gunslinger, Michael Spurlock, and Troy Hawes in wild hair with his Pro Mod adaptation of the classic identity from the 80s. But Spurlock with Gunslinger is going to take this round. The second Rotten Apple truck, the Rotten Apple TLR, back on the line. Doug Welker this time, and Troy Haw is back on the line with his Mad Dog Pro Mod adaptation. He's got a Brain Boys Racing Toys retro Pro Mod adaptation thing going on. Even sporting the, the classic Mad Dog wing, but right now it is not adding to the performance. He is in trouble as Doug Welker trying to get it to the finish line. And Welker takes the win. Jeremy Marks, Sudden Impact, and the fast rising Andy Salerno in underpowered. Salerno's really been upping his game in the 2024 season, getting better every event. Off to the lead right there through the first corner. Sudden Impact takes the lead back on the back straight away, and Salerno makes a mistake, and that's all it'll take. Jeremy Marks, an impact. Indominus on the line with the new S10 extended cab from J Concepts and Mr. Holmes Power, the all tube chassis custom made from Mike Bufka, but Bufka rolling that beautiful truck. Indominus in the far lane going to have smooth sailing. Gravedigger, Josh Rhodes, number 12, and the number 21 qualifier, Taurus, Jeremy Mark. Another pro mod adaptation of a classic identity. We've seen real life modern race trucks inspired by the classics come to be for Taurus, and so Jeremy's been running this since he started in RCs, but not going to take the win in this one. Gravedigger moves on. USA 1, Keith Vogt, and Irreparable Damage, Isaac Ankrum. 
the brand new BMRC fighter chassis. Ankrum's been looking good with this chassis. Brand new truck out there. Trouble in the near lane, and the wind goes to irreparable damage. Stomper facing off against Ballistic Orange. Ballistic Orange, a little back off the starting line. Certainly no advantage there, but Stomper hung up in the far lane. Ballistic takes the lead. Stomper coming back, charging hard. Both trucks out of shape. Who's going to get there first? Power down, a huge leap for Chris Lane and Stomper as Ballistic Orange goes all the way to the wall. Stomper with the win. Crash test dummy, boat back up on the line and Grave Digger, Jake Parr. Boat out in the lead, heading into the final corner. A little bit of trouble into the final straightaway, but he gets it done. Vote will move on with the crash test dummy. Chris Lane in Avenger. We saw him a second ago in Stomper with an incredible flying victory. This time up against Boogie Van. Fred Coors. Coors in trouble in the far lane. Lane looking pretty solid in the near lane. see the trucks really skating around on that surface out there. I think we're going to continue to see that story develop throughout the day. Zeus, Iron, Aaron, Janes, and Max D, driven by Josh Rhodes. And, oh, Janes in all kinds of trouble. He recovered, but I, he's got all kinds of problems. We'll leave it at that. Rhodes back racing with Trigger King after some time running the one-to-one -one scale events and he is looking solid out there. Purple Haze and Andy Salerno up against NWO Chris Hackinson. Both drivers out of the Chicagoland area making the trip to the St. Louis area for Trigger King at JB Scale Graphics, Dream Fields Coliseum, and Purple Haze moves to round number two. Atomic Orange, Chris Blank. Equalizer, Chris Parrish. It's a battle of the Chris's. Chris with a big hole shot. Chris and Equalizer, that is. Oh, but big trouble. Two wheeling and a great save by Parrish but over in the other lane, making contact with Blank. That'll be the end of the run for Parrish. He is disqualified based on impeding and contacting a competitor. Our final pair in round number one, number 11, Hellion, and number 22, Red Rocket. Red Rocket, another one of those BMC, BMR, BMRC chassis. The fighter chassis once again. Red Rocket takes the win. He'll move into round number two as we do as well. It'll be Firestone Bigfoot, number one qualifier, still alive, and Rotten Apple, Doug Welker. Waiting on the line. Those trucks off. Chandler off to a little bit of a lead in the far lane. Walker charging hard. Nice turn for Walker in the near lane. It could be close coming to the final straightaway. Oh, Walker upset up and over. Handing Chandler the win. Gunslinger Michael Spurlock and Snakebite Bob see Chandler. Chandler running back to back. We'll see if that's any advantage as he's seen how the track has decayed, evolved, whatever you want to call it so far. Right now it is neck and neck. Gunslinger flying very well and Chandler in all kinds of trouble trying to charge it back. Hammer down, not quite. Gunslinger taking the win. 
putting down the snake. Number four, Rotten Apple TLR. And number 13, Sudden Impact. Will that be lucky or unlucky for the number 13, Sudden Impact? Off the line, it was not lucky as Welker drilled him on the light. It tightened up towards the finish line, but Rotten Apple TLR holds on for the victory. In Dominus, the number five qualifier against Josh Rhodes, Grave Digger. In Dominus, with a little bit of a leap off of the starting line, off to the lead so far. Neck and neck. Indominus takes the win. The BMRC irreparable damage and Stomper on the line. Irreparable damage, the number two qualifier. Can the 15 take him down? Oh, number two qualifier in trouble in the far lane. Making up some ground. I think he may have missed an obstacle, but did Chris Lane and Stomper just miss that obstacle? It's not going to matter as Stomper has trouble through the final corner, giving the win to irreparable damage. Number 10, Avenger, Chris Lane, back-to-back -back races, facing off against Crash Test Dummy, Keith Vogt. Vote just bringing, oh no! Looks like there was contact. A little bit hard to tell who was in whose lane there. To the finish lane, it's Crash Test Dummy, and it looks like the win's going to go to Keith with Ca Crash Test Dummy. The number three, Max D, Josh Rhodes, and Purple Haze, Andy Salerno. Salerno, the 19 qualifier, a tough matchup. The Max D Ogre chassis truck off to a swift start. Salerno in trouble. Max D, you can see it just vibrating and undulating around this rough surface. That really gives you a perspective on the, the tricky track surface we have going this event. Red Rocket and Orange, Atomic Orange, sorry, get your oranges right. Atomic Orange 3, Chris Blank. Blank off to a little bit of a lead into the second corner. It's a good race. Oh! I thought Red Rocket lost a wheel. He just hit one of the turn markers, but that's all it took for Atomic Orange to go off and take the win. Round number three of action. We are rolling through this bracket. Number one qualifier, Bob C. Chandler, and number nine, Michael Spurlock Gunslinger. Spurlock newer on the series, and he's been doing very well, but he got drilled on the starting light by Chandler, but through a great corner, takes the lead in the first corner. Oh no! He had the lead and then hit a turn marker coming into the final corner, handing the win to Firestone Bigfoot. The number four, number five matchup, Rotten Apple TLR and Indominus, Chris Parrish. Welker having trouble getting the power down off the starting line. You see the truck take a hard left. Cruising out to the lead, a rotten apple charging at the end. Parrish getting it done with Indominus. Irreparable damage, the number two qualifier. Both number one and number two still in the bracket. Facing off against the number 26, Crash Test Dummy. Crash Test going several rounds despite a low qualifying position, but it looks like that will end here. 
as Crash Test Dummy is upset, upside down, over the first obstacle, and now in the way of the other obstacle. And so by default, irreparable damage will now take the victory. Our final pair in round three, Max D, Josh Rhodes, Oh, but trouble for Rhodes in the far lane. Blank, oh no, Blank in trouble. Everybody's struggling out here. Somebody's gotta win it. This time it goes to Rhodes with Max D. Final four action. Getting down to it. Number one, Firestone Bigfoot. Number five, Indominus, Chris Parrish. Can Parrish take down the Trigger King himself, Bob C. Chandler. But issues putting the power down in that near lane, just like we've seen in other races recently. Charging to get back, but Chandler out in the lead comfortably. That's going to be the end as Chandler moves to the finals with the number one qualifier, Firestone Bigfoot. Who will he face, number two or number three? Irreparable damage or Max D? The BMRC fighter facing off against the PRP Ogre. Who's going to win this matchup? Max D off to the lead. Irreparable damage charging, but a little bit of trouble getting the power down. And Max D will go to the finals, facing off against Firestone Bigfoot. It's a number one and a number three matchup. Firestone versus Max D, Chandler versus Rhodes. Each of them, multiple championships on the Trigger King series. This should be an epic matchup. Two different approaches over the first obstacle. Oh, Chandler in trouble. Rhodes in trouble. I think he may have missed that tabletop obstacle with the front two tires. Chandler charging. What a mess out there. I think there will be a series of penalties to be racked up in each lane as you see Rhodes right there in slow motion with issues getting up over the tabletop. But Chandler with his own issues in the far lane. Rhodes gets to the finish line first, has fewer penalties, and Rhodes with the Max D truck takes bracket one of Pro Mod competition. Wow, what a bracket, a tricky surface, really putting the competitors through their paces. We appreciate you joining us. We've got more Pro Mod action coming up soon. Make sure you join us. Until then, we'll see you then. <laughs>